Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about deploying Windows 10 1903 with MDT 8456. So let's get started. So, first things first, I'm going to right click on the start menu, click on run, type in WinVER, click OK, and I'm running my MDT server within a Windows Server 2019 version 1809. Uh, we need to download two files and the reason why i'm downloading two files is because for my server i need to upgrade my adk if you're pushing out windows 10 1903 you must have the latest and greatest adk that supports windows 10 1903 to be deployed i'm going to place the link at the bottom of the comic section or within the description so you guys can click on it and download the two files that you need uh, we're going to click on the download the windows adk all right pretty simple once that's completed, we're going to click on download the Windows PE and you're done. Now these two files are located within my downloads folder. I'm going, to, I'm going to put them to the side for now. And I'm going to click on the start menu and type control panel. And within the control panel, I'm going to go to programs and features. And the reason why I'm going here is because you need to uninstall the old Windows ADK as well as the Windows PE stuff first. You have to remove it first and you have to remove it manually. Then you're able to install the latest and greatest ADK and the Windows PE stuff. So I'm going to highlight on the Windows PE, click on uninstall. You're going to get this little nice warning dialog box. Click yes and it's going to start uninstalling. And once it's completed, it's going to say uninstall is completed. Click OK and it's gone. Now the next one is the Windows ADK. So select it. Click on uninstall. Again, you're going to get that nice little warning. Click yes. It's going to start uninstalling the features. And once it's done, it's going to say uninstall is completed. Then you're able to click close. Now both the Windows ADK and the Windows PE is gone. So go back inside that downloads folder and right click on the ADK setup and run it as an administrator. Click on next. Uh, pick your, you know, pick your poison for me. I'm going to hit no and then click next. Accept the license and terms. I'm going to leave all the features as the default selected. Hit install. And once everything's completed, it's going to say this. Click close. I'm going to go back inside control panel and programs and features. And as you can see, my Windows ADK is installed. And the version is 18.3.6.2. That is the version that's going to support Windows 10 1903. Now we're going to go back inside your downloads folder. Right click on the Windows PE. Run it as an administrator. Click on next. Pick your poison. I pick no, click next, accept the license and terms. It's only one feature that needs to be installed, but it's a big one. Click install. Once everything is done, boom, success. Click close. I'm going to go back inside the control panel inside programs and features. And as you can see, my Windows PE, the version is 18.3.6.2. Now within my desktop, I have a folder called Windows 10 version or V1903. And I'm going to double click on that folder and I have my ISO and I'm going to double click on the ISO because I need to mount it. Play close attention on the letter that your DVD or your ISO was mounted. For me, it was the F drive because we need that. Once you have your ISO mounted, click on your MDT workbench, load that up. And for me, I'm going to click on help. I'm going to go to about Microsoft deployment workbench. And I'm, I just want to show you guys that I am running 6.3.8456.1000 and click OK. And I'm going to expand my operating system node and I'm going to right click on it create a new folder and a particular folder name that I'm going to give it is Windows 10 x64 Enterprise V as in Victor 1903. Click on next, next and finish. Once I have my folder, I'm going to right click on it, click on import operating system. I'm going to leave it as the default as full set of source files. Click on next. For the source directory, I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go to disk PC and locate where my ISO was mounted, which was the F drive. So select it, click OK, click next. I'm going to leave that as the default destination name. Click next. Click next here. The progress, this process takes a little bit because it's actually taking all the content within the ISO and importing it inside your MDT server. Once everything is completed, you're going to get this and hit finish and your operating system is going to load up. Now, the next thing that we need to do is open up or expand your task sequence. I have a folder already called Windows 10 TS. TS is for task sequence. So I'm going to right click on it. Uh, click on new task sequence. And I'm going to give it a task sequence ID and a task sequence name. This is really up to you. I can't really tell you this is best practice or this is the way that you should do it because it's going to work. This is the way that I'm doing it within my environment. Okay. Click next. Uh, for the template, I'm going to leave it as the default as standard client task sequence and click next. And for the operating system, because I created a folder, I'm going to expand the folder that I created with you guys. 
and select my operating system and click on next. You are able to specify a product key. I said do not specify a product key at the moment. Click next. Uh, give it a full name, organization, and a home page for your IE. I provided all that information as you can see. Click next. Provide an admin password and make sure you remember it and confirm it. Now this admin password is for the local admin password for your machine, not the domain, okay? Once you enter that information, click on next. Nice little summary and then click next. And once everything is done, process completed successfully. Awesome, click on finish. From here, I like to right click on my primary MDT deployment share and do update deployment share and then click on next, next. This process will take some time. And then once everything is done, you're gonna get this, should get this and then click on finish. Now, because I'm running everything within a uh, VMware workstation environment, I created a virtual machine called VTest and I'm gonna power it on. And then once everything powers on, it's going to contact my Pixie boot within my MDT server. And I'm going to hit enter. And I only have one boot image being deployed or advertised within my network, which is a 64-bit uh, Windows PE one. So I'm going to select it. It's going to load up my 64 WIM image. And because I don't have my custom settings .ini configured within this um, MDT8456, I'm going to get the welcome. I have to click on the run and I have to give it the credentials. Make sure that the username password that you enter has full access and rights to manage and manipulate your 8456. I provided all that information. Once you provide all the information, click OK. It's going to load up. From here, you're going to pick your task sequence and we're going to pick the one that we created, which was Windows 10 X64 Enterprise V1903 Deploy TS. Click next. From here for the computer name, I'm going to give it as VTest. You could give it whatever you want. Click next. I'm going to leave it as the default as do not move user data and settings. Click on next. I'm not going to restore the user data and settings. Click next. Change your time zone. Again, you can actually customize all this stuff within the custom settings.ini file, but this is a fresh machine that I built for you guys a while back. So I really didn't have a chance to configure the custom settings.ini section of my deployment share. So click next here. I'm not going to capture anything. So I'm going to click next begin and it's going to start gathering all the information. It's going to start applying the image. It's going to start installing the operating system. It's going to reboot a couple of times. It's going to do this because it's rebooted into the, what is it? The OOBE, right? Once it's done, it's going to say this might take several minutes. Eventually it's going to log into the desktop and start loading up. If you have like applications or fonts or drivers or whatever, it's going to start doing it that. Once everything's completed, bam, success, hopefully success, right? Uh, I hit no for the network. I close that dialog box. I right click on the start menu on my new uh, image machine and I clicked on run and I'm going to type in WinVER and click OK. And as you can see, it is running Windows 10 version 1903. Awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video or how to deploy Windows 10 version 1903 with MDT 8456. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Hopefully I remember to put all the links at the comment section or at the description. And don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.